a shower before I deal with this shit. Oh, hi guys. Happy Monday? I think that's what day it is anyways. We're doing a Monday vlog, so it better be Monday. Good morning, Griswold. Would you like to come up and say hello? Come here. Oh, hello. Hello. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Hi. Hello. Okay, goodbye. So, it's Monday. Um, I feel like I've kind of been lacking on my Monday vlogs recently. Uh, I skipped a few, started a few at like the end of the day. Um, so I just kind of wanted to take a second to bring it all back together. Um, don't stop, never give up, hold your head high and reach the top. And that's as far as I'm going with that. Um, if you guys know what I'm talking about, <laughs> you better fucking comment. So, okay, Monday, right, Monday vlogs. Just a way for me to make the week just a little less scary for both me and you. Um, a lot's been going on. Maybe I'll just make this like a Monday update. Who knows? So, what's been happening? I've been simultaneously cleaning and making my apartment just more and more of a mess. Um, it's just absolutely gorgeous and hot outside all the time, which is great, but I live in an attic, so... Attic life is just like grueling and hot. Um, I have so much laundry. Like I always do all of my laundry and then put half of it away and then just pick through the laundry baskets until there's more dirty laundry than clean laundry. And then I dump the clean laundry in a pile like on my bed and fold it. And then I fill the laundry baskets with dirty laundry. You guys really don't care about my laundry routine, but we're talking about it. So I just have disgusting amounts of like clean laundry that I need to fold and put away. Even though in the last Monday vlog we watched me fold laundry and put it away, I have to do it again. Um, and like, things are clean. It's not like it's dirty and gross up here. It's just more like, there's clutter everywhere. I'm like trying to revamp my space, Jenny space, to be a little bit more like user friendly, I guess is the best way to describe that. Um, I want to make a space where I can have my desktop computer, where I can live stream, where I can work on photos, whether it's editing them or photographing them. So that means having a good source of light, an aesthetically pleasing view of the room, if I'm like live streaming or whatever. Not just like dirty underwear and like half eaten chip bags and plates or something. Not that that's what my life looks like, but I'm just saying. Okay, maybe a little bit with like dishes sometimes because I live in an attic and the kitchen's all the way on the first floor but like they don't get gross or moldy I bring them down like every day ah guys it's been three minutes of me just ranting about how I hate like my messiness today I have some video work I want to work on I want to do some live streaming um, gotta get my yoga done and my smoothie because those are the things that make me whole within a day if you guys haven't realized that yet um, I think I might change the sheets on my bed and I don't know try to do some organizing we'll see where it goes but for now I think I'm gonna have myself a dab and then get into doing some yoga Yep. <coughs> oh God, there was. I thought I tasted burnt hair. There's a piece of hair in my carb cap. <coughs> oh, yucky. Alright, let's take some before and after snaps of this bullshit. <laughs> Can I post this in my story? No, fuck that. I'm not showing everyone my nasty ass room. <laughs> Except you guys. I guess I'll send it to Zach.
and the last fun thing we're gonna do here, I gotta upload to YouTube. So if you guys don't know this, right now I'm currently uploading to YouTube from my phone because my internet is not supporting uploading to YouTube. It takes me like six hours to upload a video that is not even 10 minutes long half the time. So whatever that chunk of hair was was just absolutely crazy. We're gonna have that. Um, let's see. All right. Let's upload. How to make... How to make medicated smoothie? No, let's call it medicated smoothie pointy thing how to i hate writing descriptions guys uh, like i never know what to write for descriptions so i'm sorry if they're always dumb and bleak and now that i'm sidetracked i'm going to check my youtube comments because i'm bored <clears throat> well, person who commented that on my YouTube channel, catch and release fishing is not animal abuse. I'm not going to get into it. But all I have to say on the subject is, well, when you're stuck out in the fucking forest and uh, you're hungry and starving and it's raining and you don't know what to do, I'll be fat on fish. See guys, this is what I mean. There's so much clutter. Let's see if we can clean this bitch up. Well guys. I did it. It only took me like, I don't know, two, three hours. But I did a lot of dilly-dallying in, in between. I found some weird ass shit that I thought that I would sit down and such with you guys and look at and talk about. Um, and then I'm gonna get on with my day a little bit more. Maybe I will go make my smoothie before I sesh, cause I'm super duper hungry. Yeah, okay. All right, so smoothie has been made. I am just gonna grind up some weed and pack a bowl, drink my smoothie, and show you guys some random ass crap that I just found in my room. I am the queen of like, shoving all of my junk into the corner of my room or under my bed or just filling a random purse with like, junk, and then forgetting about it for a really long time. So I always find it funny like cleaning my room when I like find that random purse and I look inside it and I'm like, what the fuck was past Jenny thinking like where was I going with this like what was I doing then all of this stuff ended up in this purse like what parts of my room was I cleaning that I put a hairbrush a sock a uh, pair of gloves for gardening um, an empty cup that once had a drink in it that's like kind of like dried to the side of the cup like what was I thinking why is all that stuff in there put the dish in the dishwasher Smoothie's so good. What am I doing? Oh. So I smoked this uh, bowl on a live stream yesterday with you now and I don't think before I'd smoked it 
yesterday. I don't think I'd smoked it in like probably like two, three weeks maybe. Well, Nessie was here and maybe we smoked it. I don't know. It just felt like forever. I've been having a lot of fun doing you now. I mean, I think I've only done it a couple times at this point, but it's just like a whole different sort of live streaming experience. I look forward to being able to, I have the hiccups guys, oh my god. I look forward to like being able to like simultaneously broadcast on my YouTube and you now. Um, and I just love all of the little like uh, emojis and stuff that people can send each other and things like that. So yeah, let's smoke weed and talk about other random things. I wonder if my camera gets high. Okay, I don't even know where to start in order of like randomness. I found this uh, blue Q <laughs> like little stash tin. It says random crap from here and there and to there and here. <laughs> Warning, bend knees while lifting box. Take roads less traveled, and the back's just like a really cute little. And I love how like inside all of like the blue blah, 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 blah. inside of all the blue Q tins, it's like got a really cute little uh. I don't know whatever you call that, insert. So yeah, that was the first random thing that I found. My mom got this for me. I'm pretty sure it's like part of like a graduation present or birthday or something. She always gets me blue Q stuff. I love her for that. This is part of this random crap thing because I don't know how I feel about this stuff. I like looked at it and I was like, you know what, this shit. This shit right here. No. Um, over the winter, I had the flu, so I was using this because I had a terrible sore throat. And it was like the only way that I could smoke a bong without like having terrible just like coughing fits was if I just like numbed my throat. But after I like used it a few times, I was like, I wonder if like I'm like inhaling something weird or something. I mean like I wasn't like squirting this in my mouth while I was like inhaling a bong hit or anything, but like it just weirded me out. A fake Dr. Cherry flavor. Uh, weird. So yeah, that's random item number two. Some chloroseptic uh, nummy throat spray stuff for when you're sick. Probably shouldn't hold it too close to my face. Probably got all sorts of gross bacteria on it. Uh... Item number three is kind of meant as like, I hope I see this while I'm editing and it reminds me to do this. I found this paint that I bought back in maybe March to fucking paint a dresser that I found on the side of the road for free. And I still haven't done it. The dresser is literally still sitting in my kitchen. It's not a dresser. It's more of like an end table thing. Still sitting in my kitchen. One of the drawers is in the other room on the floor and the other two are like on top of it. Guys. My life is together, but like my living space and that sense of my life is not at all. And this is hopefully a reminder to get my shit in order. But I really like the color. It's like a like minty sea foam almost. <laughs> Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles! Return of the Shredder. I wonder if this is like an audio, like, I don't know, is it the soundtrack? Is it an audio book? Like, what is it? I found this in my Subaru when I got my Subaru. And I'm keeping it forever. Or maybe this is Zach's. I don't know. Maybe I took this when we were like going through all of his random childhood stuff. Hmm. One or the other. Literally everything that I'm showing you here is like, it's an unnecessary item that like, in a life or death situation, 
none of these items are going to help me at all. I keep them because they make me happy. Well, some of these things I'm going to probably throw away or like get rid of. Like I'm pretty sure that and that throat spray is no good anymore. And one of the other things I'm going to show you is like it's just garbage. So yeah, I'm not really sure what like compels me to hold on to this stuff besides my terribly nostalgic mind. Like, until I went to college, my mom had kept every single birthday, Christmas, any other holiday card that was given to me. Like, I had uh, boxes and boxes and boxes of balloons from every birthday, party favors, uh, photos, um, like special birthday gift wrap that she thought was really cool from presents that were given to me and stuff like that and like unbelievable amounts of just like nostalgic garbage. So that's like something that I'm trying really hard to work on not let happen to me though I'm totally totally victim to it. I'm kind of digging this setup. I like it. I like it. Okay. I'll put that over here. More stable there. Second, no, I'm going to show you the last time first and then I'm going to show you the piece of garbage that I can just throw away. I just thought that it was funny. So I was showing this to um, you now yesterday because I was just so proud of this but I forgot that I had this Muppet Show vinyl and I cannot wait, cannot fucking wait until I get my hands on a record player. I used to share a record player with somebody um, and I kept all my records at their house and I'd go over there like you know three four times a week and literally just sit there for hours on end and we would like smoke and talk and listen to records and talk about music and like podcasts and it was so much fun but we have since then gone our separate ways and like moved and stuff so I don't have a record player but I just have crates and crates of records and like uh, I probably just need to take the plunge and buy myself like a $70 record player you know I don't need anything fancy it's just gonna like work it's got such great artwork. I just think that like in a past life, I'm a Muppet. <clears throat> oh, we gotta smoke some weed first. This very important document is a list of food to order from a Chinese takeout restaurant. Let's see what we were in the mood for. Spring roll, fried wontons, pan fried dumplings, teriyaki chicken, sugar do- Oh, this is a from when Nessie was here. I know that because we got the, the sugar donuts tipped it off because I don't usually get the sugar donuts and we splurge for the sugar donuts. Steamed wontons and sesame peanut sauce, which I'd never had before and was bomb. And yeah. What's up, Griswold? What's up? Are you working hard right now? I know, you work you work so much harder than I do. Nope, that sums it up. So like all I wanna do is you now and like not do work. <laughs> but I totally need to be an adult and get some work done and fold my laundry before I can hop on you now, but I will probably hop on you now in a little bit and then go to the post office. Ooh, maybe I'll go to the post office first so that if I have packages, I can unbox them with my you now friends. I don't know. This piece of hair in front of my face is weird. Okay, on to the next and it's back.
What, Grizzy? What? What? Ah, Mr. Puppy! Mr. Puppy Boy! <laughs> My favorite! <laughs> so, Zach just got home a little while ago, and we decided that we're gonna do something that we haven't done in a really long time, which is have dessert for dinner, and we're gonna get uh, extra stony and watch a movie tonight. So recently, Zach and I have been splurging and enjoying um, hemp wraps more than we have bongs, so we'll probably have a little movie night. Wow, I'm so wobbly, oh my god. We'll probably have a little movie night blunt, um, but I don't really know what movie to pick out, so you guys are gonna kind of help me with that. Rent, always a classic. Even more so, Monty Python and Airplane. Ooh, I never really thought about Airplane as a possibility for tonight. Yo, also, if you guys don't know what this shit is, you just don't even. That's my jam. Um, Bend It Like Beckham. Badass. Oh, we got no batteries left. Let's see how long it lasts. Heber Hammer, one of my faves, along with Stick It. Jay and Silent Bob Strike Back, classic, one of my favorites. Along with, like, basically every other movie in here. Let's go to prison is just amazing. The Love Guru, Tomb Raider, Laura Croft, my woman's. Mystery Men, yes. Robin Hood Men in Tights. Like, I want a good laugh. Like, something more than just, like, spoof stuff like Robin Hood or Spaceballs, even. Even though they're such classics. Can't go wrong with a Lion King one and a half best of the Lion King movies. I used to watch this movie like every fucking day. And then we have my vast collection of ski movies here, which I probably won't be watching any of them. Oh. And then we get into Spongebob, and I don't want any of this stuff. I don't really- I could watch Beetlejuice, but mm, no. Okay. Let's go with a classic, Pineapple Express. Alright, so I just got done periscoping. I got this blunt rolled up for Zach and I to smoke on our movie night. And I think we're having dessert for dinner. That means ice cream sundaes, bitch.